Hello and welcome to this video on multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. Now let's just recap how we multiply and divide normal fractions. If we've got 3 quarters times 8 ninths, what do we do? Well all we need to do is we just need to multiply the numerators, so 3 times 8 would be 24, and we multiply the denominators, 4 times 9 is 36, and then we see we can simplify the fraction. So 24 over 36, what could we divide them both by? We could divide them both by 12. They're both in the 12 times table. And 24 divided by 12 is 2. And 36 divided by 12 is equal to 3. So this just simplifies to 2 thirds. And what about this one? Well, when we divide by a fraction, do you remember that we instead multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. That means you flip the second fraction. So it's going to be 9 over 8, and we're multiplying instead of dividing by it now. And then we do the same as before. So 3 times 9 is 27, and we got 4 times 8 is 32. And we can't simplify that at all. And the same principle applies with multiplying or dividing algebraic fractions. So if we did this question here, I've got some examples. x over 2 times by y over 4. We just multiply the numerators, which is xy, and 2 times 4 is 8. So we just get xy over 8. What about the second one? We've got x over 2 divided by y over 4. So remember that with the second fraction, you multiply by it instead, and you reciprocate it. You flip it. So you get 4 over y and then let's just multiply the numerators. We got 4x, x times 4 is 4x, and 2 times y is 2y. Now, can we cancel at all? Yes, we can divide top and bottom by 2. So divide that by 2 to get 2, and the 2 divided by 2 to get 1. And because 1y one is just y, we can just leave that as it is. So we get 2x over y. And that is the final answer for that. All right, next one. We got x over 3 times by 12 over x squared. Now we could just multiply these and then simplify it as before, or there's something when we multiply fractions called cross cancelling. And this applies for both algebraic fractions and normal fractions. And what we could do is we can see what cancels like diagonally. So x and x squared, what could we divide them both by? Well, we can divide them both by x. So that just gives us 1 here. x divided by x is just 1. And x squared divided by x is just x. So we're cancelling diagonally. And that's called cross-cancelling. And the 12 and the 3, you could divide them both by 3. So that becomes 4. And that becomes 1. And now we've just got 1 times 4 at the top, it's 4, and we've got 1 times x at the bottom, which is x. And if you don't like that method, it's fine to just times them together first and then simplify the fraction later. That's absolutely fine. Right, let's do some more examples. We've got 3xy over 8 divided by 6x over 5. So because it's division, we instead times by the reciprocated fraction. So 3xy over 8 multiplied by, flip it, 5 over 6x. And again, if we wanted to, we could cross-cancel, but let's not. Let's just combine it first. So 3xy times 5 is 15xy. And 8 times 6x is 48x. And then let's see what we can divide by. Well, we can divide top and bottom by x to get rid of these x's. And then 15 and 48 both divide by 3. So that becomes 5 and that becomes 16. So we get 5. We're just left with a y there. And we're just left with 16 at the bottom. Now for some much harder ones. We've got question 5. It's x squared minus 1 over x squared minus x minus 6 times by x plus 2 over x squared minus x. Now you might guess just by looking at these expressions. They're just crying out for us to factorise these. So let's factorise these first and then see what happens after. So x squared minus 1, that's the difference of two squares. It's a difference of two squared things. And do you remember the factorisation for that is you have two brackets, plus in the middle of one of them, minus in the other, and then you square root each of the two things. So the square root of x squared is x, so I put x to the first term, and the square root of the second term, 1, is 1. So you put a 1 as the second term of each. 
And then the bottom, this is of the form x squared plus or minus something x plus something. Um, and the way we do that is we find two numbers which add to give the number in front of the x, which is effectively minus 1. And then they times to give that number there, which is minus 6. So what are those two numbers? What multiplies give 6? Well, 3 and 2. But one of them has to be negative. So it's 2 and minus 3. So it's x plus 2, x minus 3. And then we do the same with the second fraction. We've got x plus 2. Well, x plus 2 is just x plus 2. Can't factorise that. And at the bottom, we've got a common factor, haven't we? These both have a common factor of x. So we can factorise that out. And then it's x times x gives x squared, and x times what gives minus x, which so minus 1. Now, we could cross-cancel this point, but I'm just going to write it all as one fraction first. So we've got this times this. We just combine it all together. And absolutely do not expand out, because that would just be going backwards. And at the bottom, we've got this times this times this times this. So we've got x plus 2 times x minus 3 times x, and if you've got a non-bracketed term you put on the front, so x goes here, and then the x minus 1. Let's see what cancels. Well, we've got um, an x plus 2 here at the top, x plus 2 here at the bottom. We've got an x minus 1 here at the top, an x minus 1 here at the bottom, and then that just therefore simplifies to what well, we've got x plus 1 left. We don't need to bracket it because there's nothing left around it. And then we've got x and x minus 3 left at the bottom. And there's no need to expand that, you can just leave that factorised, and that is the right answer. And then finally, question six, we've got this at Excel question, past paper question here. So we've got one over, and I'm going to factorise at the same time. So we've got 2x squared plus x minus 15. I'm just going to intelligently guess the factorisation. It's going to be 2x and x to multiply to give the 2x squared. And you need two numbers which multiply to give minus 15. I'm going to guess it's plus 3 and minus 5. And let's just check. Well, we get 2x squared, which is right. We get minus 15, which is right. Then we also get an expansion, 6x minus 5x, which is 1x, which is right. So that's the correct factorisation. And then we're dividing by 1 over, and I'm going to factorise this as well, 3x squared plus 9x. They have a common factor of 3x. I'm going to factorise that out. And then what's in the bracket? It's 3x times x gives 3x squared, because the x times x gives x squared. And 3x times what is 9x, which is plus 3. And then we do the usual thing. We're going to times by the second fraction instead and flip it. We reciprocate it. So it's times by 3x, x plus 3 over 1. And then 1 times that is just that. And this times 1 is just that, so we get 2x minus 5, x plus 3. And can you see they have a common factor of x plus 3 at the top and the bottom, so we can cross those out, we can cancel them, and then we get 3x over 2x minus 5, and that is the final answer. Now to finish off with, I've got these test your understanding questions here. So the questions are, we've got 7mn squared over 10 times by 15 over 21 mn. And then I've got this second question, which is x plus 4 divided by x squared minus 16 over x plus 3. You may want to pause the video now to have a go at these. Well, hopefully you have a go at these. So let's do this first one. Well, let's try and cross-cancel here. So we could divide this and this by 7. So that just goes, that becomes 3. We can divide this and this. We can cross-cancel, divide them both by 5. That becomes 3. That becomes 2. Um, and we could also divide by that m. And we can also divide by an n. So n squared means n times n. So when we divide by n, it gets rid of one of the n's to leave just n. And that n goes. And all we're left with at the top is 3 times n, which is 3n. And at the bottom, all we're left with is 2 times 3, which is 6. Oh, and we can still simplify. We can divide top and bottom by 3. So that just disappears. That becomes 2. And you're just left with n over 2. 
What about this second one? This is much harder. Well, firstly, this is not a fraction divided by a fraction, is it? That's not a fraction. So the way we turn it into a fraction, if you remember, is you just put it over 1, and then you do the usual thing. So we're going to do x plus 4 over 1, and then we're going to, we'll just still put this divide here, but we're going to factorise this first. x squared minus 16 is x plus 4 times x minus 4 over x plus 3. And then remember, we flip the second fraction and times by instead. So we've got x plus 4 over 1 times by x plus 3 over x plus 4 times x minus 4. And then, when we put this all together as 1, we can see that the x plus 4 and the x plus 4 are going to cancel. And all we're left with at the top is x plus 3 over 1 times x minus 4 which is x minus 4, and that is the answer.